Positively Jax, imagine having the chance to spend the whole day learning about aviation and aerospace. Today about 60 students got to do just that for their first ever aerospace day. News for Jax reporter Ashley Harding takes us inside this fun experience and shares the special reason this got off the ground. It may not have been the prettiest weather, but that didn't stop local students from taking flight Saturday. It's part of the first ever aerospace day at Jack's executive at Craig Airport. There the students got a hands-on course in aviation from local pilots and flight instructors. 15-year-old Anessa Arifi is thinking about becoming a pilot. Growing up, I, my family actually comes from coastal part in Europe, so I've like I fly there every summer, and like every year I look forward to flying. And I don't know, it just, I mean, now I'm interested in aerospace. It's not only the airlines. There's front and center is Lee Giet, the man who started this project. Giet's father was also a pilot. He tells me after his dad died in a plane crash four years ago, for two months he brought similar events to Aerospace Day in other parts of the world. He's happy to bring it back to Jacksonville. It started as a project that I did for my dad, but it's evolved into now something that I do for the kids. And I remember when I was in their shoes, you know, I wasn't good at math and I wasn't, I didn't think that I had a place in, in aerospace. And I just want them to know that, that they have a place in aerospace. We all know you have to have good pilots, but to keep these babies in the air, you also have to have good mechanics. That's also part of the lesson today. These kids are able to get up close and personal, learn all about these hanging motors. Anessa Arifi says she also like? hopes to inspire women in aviation. Is that yes. something you think about as a young lady? Um, well, yeah, I feel like there's not a lot of women in aviation. Usually I like, you know, you can see pilots and like when they come off the flight, come on the flight for commercial airlines at least, and they're usually always men. And I think like it would be nice to see a woman sometimes. Yeah. And you hope to change that? I hope to be the one, yeah. <laughs> preparing local students through hands-on learning and showing them the sky's the limit. In Jacksonville, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.